shock. We're talking outgoings, but there's potential incoming links too. Find out today in the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours. All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Happy Sunday. Hope you've all had a good week. You're having a relaxing weekend too. England through to the semi-finals and potentially Leeds United could be, you know, making some moves, having some incomings because at this rate, we haven't even got a start on 11 come the start of the season. Before we do get into the Leeds United transfer news and rumours, be sure to smash that like button. The last sort of three, four videos, I've got over 300 likes. So let's try and do that again. Also subscribe if you are new. We're on the road to 16,000 subscribers. It's free. Get down there right now and subscribe. And today, comment what position we need to sign. Like, what is the priority? I think for me, it's either a right back or left back or some sort of center off or something at the back personally for me what do you guys think get it in the comments down below but further ado let's get into the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumors we're going to start with outgoings of course we're going to start with outgoings and it's Diego Lorente to Real Betis here we go confirms Fabrizio Romano for th th this is the bit that that throws me off a bit for a fee of three million euros it was reported a few days ago that Leeds United rejected a bid it was like three and a half million euros coming up to four million euros. And now, according to Fabrizio Romano, the fee was three million euros that was completed. I don't know if this has got to do with contracts or add-ons or, or things like that, but that fee to me doesn't make sense. Someone tweeted out that Mark Rocker and Diego Lorente, we bought for a combined 32 million euros and we've sold them for seven and a half million euros. That's pretty, much, that's pretty much 25 million euros lost. Victor Orta, disaster class. Do we expect anything else, though? Absolutely poor business from Leeds United, from the ex-bosses at, at, at Leeds United. Hopefully now we're in better hands with the 49ers. But a 3 million transfer fee for me just doesn't seem right because Leeds United rejected more at the start of the week. So we'll have to see how that one, you know, sort of uh, happens and when we get the real facts of that but that's what's Fabrizio Romano and he's normally quite reliable you know he's one of the most reliable journalists international journalists in the world so three million euros apparently the fee many clubs wanted the Spaniard but Real Betis get their man good luck to him who cares get him off the books happy he's going but the fee needs to be discussed I don't know what's gone on there next up we're talking another outgoing and it looks pretty much confirmed this is confirmed from Adam Pope Christopher Clayson expected to leave for Polish international football. Not international, for a Polish club. I can't pronounce the name. Not going to butcher it. Don't want to offend anyone. But yeah, decent deal. It'll be a permanent deal. For me, I personally think this is probably best for Christopher Clayson. I said we need to get rid of him. Nothing on him. He's just a young goalkeeper and he's not playing enough football. He'll go out there and he'll probably be brilliant. You know, he's a very good goalkeeper. I, I read that he had three starts for Leeds, three wins. We scored nine and he conceded zero. I think that was the case. And that's, you know, absolutely brilliant. Um, if, if that is the case, uh, someone else said that he had four games. Oh, no. Yeah, three starts, four, ga four games. That's it, because he came on for Melier against Wolves. Had a brilliant game there as well. But yeah, it looks like Christopher Clayson is going Good luck to him. He's been a big part of Leeds United behind the scenes, I'm guessing. But yeah, I would like to see him have more game time. But at the end of the day, he wasn't, He wasn't. you know, the only times he came in is when Melier was suspended. he done very well there as well, you know, keeping uh, two clean sheets there. So, you know, wish him the best of luck. But that looks like it will go through come Monday, come tomorrow, uh, whenever you are watching this. Next up, we are talking a big return for Leeds United. This is reported by the Daily Mail reporting a surprising return for Salford goalkeeper Alex Carnes. He used to play for Leeds United years ago and he will be obviously the third choice goalkeeper on a cheap, won't be on a lot of money. But I really want to know what you guys think about this transfer because if this is the case, we do get him in. You know, he's a, he's a decent goalkeeper you know, I, I, at that level, at Salford level. And it will be a third choice goalkeeper. Christopher Clayson goes, he comes in. Don't know how much of an upgrade it is, but it's an also a thing where he's probably a good bloke to have behind the scenes. Him and Carl Darlow sort of being sort of Elan Melier's mentor and another sort of local lad to have around the club. I don't know if that's what Farker's cooking, but I'd, I really want to know what you guys are thinking. Is this a backward step for Leeds United or is this smart? sort of Sam Byram-esque signing that might work. 
I really want to know what you guys are thinking. So this is what the Daily Mail are reporting. A surprise return for Salford goalkeeper Alex Carnes. Cairns, I don't know, really, no, I can't remember how you say it. I think that always was a uh, uh, toss-up with how you say it. But yeah, on the cheap, would you, would you go for him? Let me know in the comments down below. Next up, we're talking a potential another incoming. Yeah, it's not Christmas. We're talking another incoming uh, for 29-year-old right back. Plays in the French League for Fale Sacco is his name. He plays for um, Mont Montepier Montepelier. Mont butchered that um basically he lost his place when he got injured back in february wants a new club only signed in 2022 the only thing what is not helping is that crystal palace are keen too there's a clubs in turkey italy and spain that like the look of sacco as well he played 55 matches for uh, the french league side i don't know too much about him personally never really actually seen him play but just know leads are looking at right backs because a right back is needed his name's filet sacco Go check out his highlights. I need to do the same. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Next up, Cody Drama and Liam Cooper are free agents. Looks like they're not going to be signing new contracts and they're going to be getting on their way. Um, which, you know, if that actually happens with Liam Cooper, obviously we'll go more into depth with how much of, you know, an influence this guy's been on Leeds United and the club and the players right now. Next up, Cresswell is off ASAP. I think it'll be confirmed come tomorrow or even maybe today. Who knows? As of recording now, it's about half 12. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard to read the time. Half 12. So, um, yeah, we'll see where Cresswell ends up. It looks like he's going to complete his permanent deal to Toulouse in the French League for um, around three, four, five million. Uh, we'll see what that one comes out to be. Uh, I've put down here right back needed. Obviously, the Sacco links are there, but Leeds had seven right back options on their books last season. This is including, you know, Rasmus Christensen, people out on loan as well. We now only have one, and it's Sam Byram, who's actually needed at left back. Trey Hume and Connor Roberts are always linked. They're the players Leeds United are linked with. Now Sacco's in the mix as well. We need right back. You know what I said at the start of the video? Comment which positions we need. We need a right back. Shax could play there. He's gone. Archie Gray could play there. He's gone. Rasmus looks like he's going. Jed Spence. You know, Connor Roberts is now gone. There's so many players that could have played there. Now we have one. And that's Sam Byron where we pretty much need him to cover left back while Furpo is on these Olympic tour with Dominican Republic. Who knows what's going on? Hopefully Farker. Hopefully 49ers. Uh, 49ers sorry, I've got something cooking. And yeah, we'll see how that one goes. And last but not least, I just want to talk about the Marcelo and Bielsa and Rafinha link up. They done it in the Copper uh, no, Copper America yesterday, where uh, Uruguay Bielsa's Uruguay progressed to the semi-finals, knocking out Brazil. Rafinha's Brazil, and uh, yeah, I mean there was a lovely hug, lovely photo. If you haven't seen the photo, it's a beautiful photo. It's actually on my community tab, so check it if you haven't seen it. But guys, that is the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumors. Just to run through one more time, uh, Lorente Terrell Betis. Here we go. Clayson looks like he's going to be moving to a Polish club. Permanent deal on the way. Alex Carnes to return to Leeds United. Sacco linked. Cooper and Drama off. Cresswell going ASAP. A right back's needed. And don't we love Bielsa and Rafinha? Guys, I've been Oli Ward. You guys have been excellent. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more daily Legion United videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheery.